I'm Gigi. This is Sable. Let's go hunt down some circles. Um, hmm. I mean, I can only assume I have to look down here somewhere to continue on. Whoa. Alright. Sewer time. I like swimming in sewers. Oh, yeah, look at that. Complete accident, but hiding it in the sewers makes total sense. I wish I could like swim a little faster though. It's a little bit painfully slow. But it works, I guess. What is this? Is this what I'm looking for? No, but I did find some Macrine Guard trousers made from Hakoan metals. The lightness of these metals is unparalleled, allowing nimble movement and strong resistance in combat. Well, thank you for leading me to that side quest. I appreciate that. Oh boy. More tunnels. Maybe? This leads out of the city. And this doesn't lead anywhere. So, what? Should I go out that sewer tunnel? This is just like a big clickbait arrow. It's a beetle store? Can't talk to you, but I like your mask. It's very simple. You have like an orb. It's not an orb at all. Is it like a floating water bottle? Like a little hamster drip feeder? I'm interested in the beetle store. What is all this? This is like a marketplace. Ooh. Someone's got their fancy bike parked out here. And someone left their money in a jar out here. Just a empty little room? Okay. Oh, hello. He had a guard murmuring about pomegranates to himself as I approach. When he knows me, he clams up and stands to attention. Can I help you? Yanis. Um, I do not need to speak to Iria. I do not know who that is. You said something about pomegranates? The guard seems to perk up at the mention of the word. Yes, you haven't tried one? They sell them in Sarai outside of town. They're unbelievable. Magical. Each seed a burst of watery coolness. He continues to espouse his clear obsession with the fruit. I noticed my own... <laughs> and I noticed my own mouth salivating a little. Um, I guess I do need to speak to Iria. I don't know who that is, but I don't want to like come back here later. Iria is a very important person. If I'm gonna let a bothersome glider interrupt her day, it better be worth my while. Um, <laughs> offer a pomegranate. The guard seems delighted by my offer. Oh, Rohana, this is beautiful. Snatches the pomegranate greedily from my hands and indicates that I can pass now. Move along, glider. So is this like the mayor or something? I don't know why I'm coming up to her, but I'm glad to be here. Child. That's indeed a child's mask. And is there, is that a little bit of decoration? Because they said traditional clans don't let their kids decorate their masks. Oh, you don't need to go up there. Oh, and she's got like a little outlook onto the marketplace. That's cool. A lighting change in her room specifically. Got a guard of attention. If Arya is surprised, happy, or displeased to see me, it's hard to tell. The guard by her side tenses up as I approach, but Arya signals them to relax. My presence is permitted for now. Merchant Arya. Okay. So you got past Yanis. Was it a pomegranate? Just good old fashioned cuts. It doesn't really matter, I suppose. Well, you're here now. Yes. Um, how do I get myself merchant's badges? I just seems completely disinterested in my question. I'm not even sure she heard me. I go to ask again when she lets out a big sigh. How do you think? What do merchants do? T don't answer that. You can buy them for me. Yes. I like to buy a merchant's badge. Very well. For 100, a gem representing a cut adorns this circular badge given or sold by merchants of the merchant's guild. 
Members of the Merchant's Guild. Yeah. Wait. I can just buy the buy all of them. Um, I guess I'll do that while I'm here. But I don't want to spend all my money. Um, we'll come back for more. I don't really need her mask. I mean, her mask is like kind of cool, but I don't need it. I have some questions about the power cut. You have five minutes, and then I want you gone. Um, so I can probably ask two questions. I'm not gonna accuse her, I don't think. Any idea why someone might have taken the core? There's a deeply irritated sigh at the beginning of a speech. It comes out like the hiss of a viper. <sighs> two reasons I can imagine. One, because they've something to gain from bringing the town to its knees. Now a sharp annoyed hail. Two, because power cores fetch a substantial price in illegal markets. Could be one of those, could be both, don't know. I could ask more questions. Um, who do you think did it? Maybe some lowlife from, from the Sarai, probably that climber fellow, Garay. They say he's, you know, one to speak to do, one to speak to when a job needs doing. It was not exactly what I'd call discreet. Fellow like that, he won't be the brains behind it, but if I were a scummy little nobody, he's the person that I'd hire to get the work done. I'm told you can find him under the bridge outside the town gate. <laughs> Suspect, Gire. Um, well, if I can ask this, then I'm gonna accuse her. I can feel her eyes narrow on me and imagine the drag of her tongue along her upper teeth. She dislikes me very much. I will ignore the implications of that question, friend, but I was here in the market. Ask her, Anne, if you'd like. Any of the guards will vouch for me. I'm done here. I'll come back to you later and buy more badges. Okay, I need to talk to Smelly Smelly Gray, who I simply ignored earlier. Um... But I gotta search for more circles. Hmm. What's this little building? Nothing I can go into. That's for sure. Let's see. Is there a circle out here anywhere? No, but there's some cool graffiti. Um, and... Ooh, a very cool sigil kind of looking thing. That gate can't stop me, I can climb walls. Um, I'll go here, but it doesn't look like this is the way I'm being led by circles. What is this thing? Where, what even is this room? Um, it's got a jar, that's for sure. Money is what this room is. Maybe this is like a kiln of some sort? What's on top, if anything? Seems like probably big fat nothing. Yeah, okay. Um, let's just like climb some walls to get back up. I totally just like fell there, but it's all good. Let's -a go. I love the wind whistling in this area. Oh, he, okay, so this is the merchant area, and this this is above Iria's room where I got stuck. Was it even Iria? I kind of already forgot her name. Oh, I can't climb up here. Okay, whatever. This is where I wanted to be. So the circle was down there. Bucket. Well, I need to be here anyway. You. What can I do for you, Glider? Um, I have a delivery for you. Hamza smirks, but his expression is warm. They've got you running errands, eh? I do not remember anything about how I envisioned your voice. Um, people love to give me errands. Mm, yes, that'll happen to Gliders. Suppose folks see them, of has see them as having that sort of directionless liberty that means that you aren't interrupting anything if you ask that they fetch something for you. I'll drop this off with sand dip when it's good and ready. Anything else I can help you with? I have some questions about the power cut. What do you want to ask? 
Um, okay, so I have the same three questions for everybody. He crosses his arms and looks down, thinking on it. Power is the lifeblood of everything we do as machinists, and our work exists to uplift the past and secure the future. Power supports the machines, and machines are bound to the people. I nod, listening. If you want to take power from the people, then you wish to make people powerless. He looks sad at this. So I think you'll be looking for someone who cares little for the common person. Where are you? I was in the workshop, sleeping. Get most of my sleep there lately, if I'm being honest. He shrugs. That being the case, though, I didn't know that anything was wrong. I ask why not? Because I'm a machinist, is why. And not one of us, no matter how different we may seem, would ever be caught dead without a backup generator. So I had a few hours of good rest before I caught wise. And not accepting his answer. Who do you think did it? If... if I had to say? Iria, the merchant. Tell him I'm listening, and he shuffles his feet, getting close to me. His voice lowers to a low, low rumble. Iria and, her kin, Iria and her ilk run this town. The markets are their locus of control, and they've got their claws in the food stocks. Now, imagine, if you will, what happens when the power goes down. All of a sudden, folks are stockpiling food, and Iria, her, Iria and her lot are hiking up the prices. There's not a damn thing any of the rest of us can do. You should look into Iria. You'll find her weaving her web of corruption from above the beetle market across the bridge. You'll have to persuade her guard to let you pass, though. I add Iria to my merchant list of subjects. That's all. Thank you. Anything else I can help you with? Nothing. Yeah, I'm pretty sus of Iria. Probably check in back with Sandip. Um, any circles out here? No. So I'm going to look around this area a little bit more, and if I don't see any circles, then we're going outside. Oh, I love this for like the machinist room. Hmm. Because the circle led a tunnel under here. Oh, <laughs> look at all these little masks painted on the wall. That's cute. Yeah, this seems fruitless. I think we gotta go outside. Though I'm not sure why that'd be the case. Unless there's something in this tunnel? Which doesn't look like. And I don't know where else the circle would lead. That's the problem. Hmm. I think I can just like go right up to it. What if I climb this wall? There could be something on the roof here. Maybe like on top of one of these windmills, oh god. I just don't see what there'd be to do outside of the town is the problem. You know what? I'm down to climb a windmill. I like being high up in this game, it's fun. But will I be able to make it is the question. I need more stamina. And let's go. From here I'll also be able to kind of look out over the swamp area. If I can get up here anyway. I might just be able to make it. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. Okay, I might be able to make it if I, like, glide onto the window. Or if I glide on top of this thing and hopefully don't fall in and then glide back over to the wall. Let's try again. I love climbing things for no reason in this game. Very good pastime. Hmm. Yeah, so I can't just like get up here. Or or I can. Cause I'm cool. I'm sick with it. Yeah, nothing up here. Hmm. Let's see let's go out over this one. Excuse me, bird. 
Oh, I see the circle. It's on there, I think. Interesting. Is there anything else out there that I can see? Hmm. Doesn't look like there's much of interest, but I am going to glide over here. I think that's just like a bird or a plant on top of here. But it might be a person. What is this? Is this a plant? It's looking planty as I get closer. Mm, what? Oasis flower. Okay. Oh, chum. There's a chum over there too. I'm getting so distracted, but I know where I need to go. Hello. Is that gonna be like 43 maybe? Or 42? Oh, geez, 46, I'm way ahead. I completely missed 42, which is, of course, the answer to everything. But I need 60. That's my goal. You can totally walk up this, Sable. I've seen you Skyrim horse yourself up places. Yeah, see, there you go. Hello, chum. Are you, you seem particularly big. You're huge. This chum was huge. Look at this. What's that about? I have no clue. Anyway, back to over there. We have circles to follow. A pretty cool way to leave a trail. Just an unassuming graffiti. Just like follow that throughout the city. The question is, where do I go from this one? If this was circles. You're circles, right? Show yourself. Am I crazy? Did I not see circles? Oh boy. Or was it on this one? Uh, I was totally supposed to do a platforming challenge to get that oasis flower. And I didn't do that at all. Here we go. Here are circles. Um, hmm. Suspicious reads. Seems like I'm being led left. So I see that cart over there. And I also see these reeds over here. This is where I go first. And then go check out that cart. You do love me some tall reeds. Like how the plants in this game, yeah, nothing here, are just like solid colors, but you can kind of get impressions of their shape with their outlines. All right. Oh yeah, circle over here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's check out this wagon. Anything in here I can steal? No, don't climb that sable. You don't know where it's been. Um, so somewhere right here there's going to be a chum. I am making all sorts of chum friends. Um, that's probably like right on this rock. Ecria. Yeah, I'm here already. Okay. But what does this rock have to do with the shade of Ecria? I'm just now realizing I forgot to turn on my timer again. Hooray. Yes, so I'm supposed to be here. I know, game. Don't climb it. Hmm. Wait. Circles. Ooh, sneaky game, sneaky. Oof. Oh, is it just down below? Maybe? Wait. Give me this. I want this. I want this bug. Uh. You're like a jingling dragonfly. I love dragonflies. Get down here. Yes! Oasis dragonfly. Nice. You're not dragonflies. You're birds. Um, 
Okay, so like right down here. Oh, here we go. Circles everywhere by clipping into the wall. Shade of Ecria mask. Mask of the shade of Ecria. When I wear it, I feel transformed into something closer to a spirit. I don't feel human anymore. Pretty neat hiding spot. Okay. I'm circles now. Let's get up here. Actually, let's warp. Um, and that will give me a chance to open OBS to see where my time's at. We're at 20. Very nice. So let me just walk forward. Actually, walk back this way. Set my timer for 5. Um, somewhere over this way. Jeez. Um, five. There we go. Now, where is this jail? I, I went way the wrong way. I thought it was... Ooh, pomegranates. Mine. Mine. Oh, I should probably, like, not let them see me put on the mask, you know? I don't think it'll actually matter. But, you know. Um... Bam, 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 ba, ba, ba. Yeah. Look at me, I'm cool. You, bitches. Um, I think I have to go to him first. Yeah, I'm just gonna like wear this out. Don't mind me. I just gotta talk to Garay. What's up, Garay? Gray grunts hello. I have some questions about the power cut. He scratches himself and spits on the ground before giving me a shrug. Any idea who might have taken it? Gray smells. It's not the worst or most pungent smell, not rot or bile or anything so pointedly awful. No, gray smells like old dust tinged with stale oil and ground into the fabric of old garments or buried under fingernails. It clings to him and I turn away just as little as he answers me. I heard about a big sale going down in the Sarai recently. Not sure what, but it caused a, a stir, let's say. Whatever it is, it's long gone by now. He shrugs, so I press him a little further, asking if he had any idea who the setter was. As far as I heard, it was some machinist with a mushroom habit. Not sure how true that is, but let's say it's come up a few times. Machinist Hamza. Huh. He doesn't seem very interested in mushrooms, though. Um, where were you when the power went out? Cafe. Cross my arms, mostly out of impatience, but it seems to work on Gray somehow. Alright, I got on a little scrap, is that what you want to hear? Nothing to do with anything, and probably not your business, but sure. Had a fight, power went out, broke it up. Kept my arms, I keep my arms crossed. And a story, I got nothing else. Could ask more questions. Who do you think did it? He stares at me for a few seconds, and I mistake it for consideration before he, I realize he's looking at me like I'm stupid. I don't name names. Even I did, beats me who did it. More power to him, I say. It's a pause and then he laughs loudly. <laughs> You'll get it? More power to him. Very funny. I must have a false laugh for him, but it almost seems to offend. He waves me off. Um, I'm done here. Um, ew. It's been a long time since I saw that thing. When you wear the mask of the shade, there's no greater ally than darkness and dread. Wait until nightfall and proceed to the guard station. Be as quiet as you can and bathe their eyes until the moment you must strike. Then, when the time is right, he hisses the last bit, dripping with venom. Show them the shade. I shiver. Are you ready to do this, Glider? I'm ready. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I kind of already showed them the shade. I walked right up to them. Is that me walking? No, that's just like some dude walking in the background. I like this little cutscene going on. There's not a lot of cutscenes in this game. Ooh, he's got like a horn mask. I want it. Oh, he's making fun of the kid. Big guy's not having it. Oh, here I come. You know, I was thinking. 
Oh no, it's one of these. No, this one's interesting. Doubtful. But, I don't know, tell me anyway. That seems to you is marginally better than the wind. Keep listening. Thank you. I was thinking about how I've seen plenty of Nemore plants, but I've never really thought about what's inside them. You know? What's inside a Nemore plant? It's glowing. Yes, obviously, I know it's glowing, but why? What causes the light? Butterflies! I don't know. Glowing stuff? Why do you think about these things? What's the point? I keep listening. I don't know. What do you think about? Normal things? Boring things, more like. Guards lapse into silence. Time to make myself known. Probably should have done it a little earlier. <laughs> I'm like crawling on the floor. No, no, it's the shade. Run. Go, go, go. <laughs> I love this. Oh, the white shade mask in the sky. Oh. <laughs> awesome sequence. They're like running away, flailing. <laughs> What you got to say, kid? <laughs> We're just laughing about it. I'm buzzing with nervous excitement and maybe a touch of power, but I tell myself it's only to ensure that I give the mask and continue that I give back the mask and continue my gliding. This is not the time to take up the mantle of vigilante. I approach the boy who seems no worse for wear, possibly even entertained by the guard's reaction. He waves. When I speak, I maintain the illusion. My voice is not quite so searing as the shades must have been, but it is a worthy affect. Loudly, I call him the son of Maz and declare that he is free to go and to return to his father. What? What? Who are you? Tell him I am the shade of Ekria and do a pose that might help him along. No, Maz is the shade of Ekria and he isn't my father. My father's dead. My heart stops. Maz takes care of me. He takes care of all of us. My heart resumes beating. Did he send you? Yes, Maz sent me. And did he really say I was his son? Boy laughs a little, something like relief. He says that to us, calls us sons and daughters, but didn't know if he really meant it. Thank you. I'll get back to him now. Without another word, he's off. <laughs> he's got a little bit of a strut going on. I love the eyes moving around. Is she gonna jump scare the camera? Nah, doesn't seem like it. Alright, enough of this stupid mask. I don't want my Abexi mask. I like my goat horns. Um, let's just finish up this quest real quick. Yeah, so we've only got like a circle of suspects for the sus quest. Hello. Maz's posture is softened when I see him again, like the weight's gone. He's happy. Ask if the boy returned to him and he nods. Thank you. He's safe with his brothers and sisters. Ask him how many there are. Nearly a dozen. Orphans all and the kindest young people you'll ever meet. Being the shade, I saw much of the city's true face and I suppose I found an even more important role to play. I would have taken up the mask again myself, but if I was discovered, then what would have happened to them, you know? Tell him I understand. I think Maz is far more helpful than the shade. He shrugs. Perhaps, but... Why don't you keep the mask? There might be use for the shade yet. Farewell, glider. Nice. Now it's just a quest for a mask. Could have just <laughs> abandoned that quest in the middle and kept the mask, I guess. Now, before I close out, I'm gonna talk to some people and go back to Hamza and see what he thinks about the accusations. Wait. Hang on. I got a little- oh, I rumbled because I ran out of stamina and stopped moving. That's what happened. Stopped running. Let's see what these people are talking about. Green crowd. Who did this? Have you found out who it was yet? Are we under attack? You have to do something. The power's been off for days now. When will we get drinking water back? Useless. Completely useless. How did we end up in a position where almost everything we rely on comes to a complete halt? Social commentary? Everyone, remain calm. We are doing all we can to restore power to Ecria. Yeah, you would say that, government guy. All you can is putting me in charge of the task. 
Um, wait, let's go talk to the guard guy first, because he'll give us the completed power thing, probably. Um, he's gone? That's upsetting. Does it tell me where to find him? Um, sand it. So I have to speak with Sandip. Um, he's this way. Where are you, Sandip? Funny name you got. Um, wait, am I stupid? I am stupid. What's going on here? Game? Is this send it? No. I feel silly. Okay, so I gotta go back in the city? Yes. Where'd you go, sand it? I need to close... Um, what? Oh! Money! Thank you for misleading me, sand it. You gave me money for that. Want to use sand it? No. He's definitely like over here or something. He's right here? <laughs> I think he's supposed to be right here, but he's not right there. Maybe he comes out in the day, or maybe I'm glitched or something. Um, we'll deal with that later, you know? Let's just go talk to Hamza. Hamza's just over here, so. And then we'll go talk to Sandip in the next episode. See what that's all about. It is so hot in my room. It got like up to 80 today and we haven't turned the AC back on. And oh my lord. You. You've been accused. Hamza says hello. Um, no, I just have a circle of suspects. I think I have to talk to Sandip or something. Um, ask around Ecria for information about the power cut. Maybe I just have to like talk to more people But we can do that next time Oh The moon setting just above me This is this was the perfect time to end the episode So I'll see you in the next one